It's about uh, art and air travel and bed bugs. Um, rental cars, tornadoes, cruise ships, uh, small towns, um, and, uh, and, and Scotland. <laughs> Sadly, I tend not to have flashes of inspiration, but, um, and I don't really have a process. I think like a lot of writers, uh, uh, much, much of the writing life involves grabbing time when we can. But I, I do like to walk. That's one thing that's remained a constant. I like to walk, I like to read and, and make notes in my book and um, things tend to accrue and uh, so it's, I often wish I was the sort of writer who would, would have those periods of inspiration where I would write madly and produce wonderful work as, as people can, but um, it's, just, uh, it's, it's just not in my makeup, I'm afraid. There has been talk of the, the death of the novel and the, um, the death of poetry and all of this, and, and I don't, it has, it has been around this long. I think it's all right. And I think in, in, in Canada, as I, as I, uh, you know, I was speaking of all of the, the wonderful young writers, new writers doing uh, marvelous work, um, uh, people from varied communities, and I think that that's part of it. If, if young people are uh, reading it or people in general, maybe general who, who perhaps hadn't been readers of poetry before. I think that has something to do with it. I think that it's, uh, there's, a, there's, a, um, uh, there's many different kinds of work happening and that's bound to appeal 